survivors of a deadly bar shooting walked alongside the grieving family members of those who lost their lives early Sunday morning inside Tequila KC. Clear surveillance video helped police track down one of the suspected killers, Javier Alatore. Tonight, they're still searching for Hugo Villanueva Morales. He's considered armed and dangerous. KCTV5's Emily Rittman talked with a bartender who narrowly escaped gunfire, and she joins us now live from KCK with his story. Emily? Brad and Allen, Tequila KC is a neighborhood bar where Jose Valdez has served regular customers for years. Just before last call, he saw the two suspects come through the bar's back door. Let's walk together as sisters and brothers as community. In this crowd are survivors who witnessed Sunday's deadly shooting that killed four men and injured five other people. Bartender Jose Valdez says he refused to serve one of the gunmen. You could tell in his face when he came in, he looked like the devil. About two hours after customers made the suspects leave the bar, witnesses say they came back with guns. I hit the emergency switch for the police. I uh, grabbed the phone and I looked over and he was right in front of me. He pulled out a gun and just started shooting. I dove to the ground. He was firing every which way. After that, I just, he shot the guy that was right in front of me. Now, young children are forced to grow up without their fathers. Alfredo Calderon left behind a son and daughter. Friends and family members say Alfredo adored and lived for his children. We explained to the kids what happened and they know that he's an angel now and we'll be watching over him. According to court records, video surveillance showed the two suspects walking through the crowd as if they were looking for someone. Then they started shooting. As the suspects ran out the back door, they fired back into the crowd. It sounded like the building was going to cave in with everybody running and everybody, you know, screaming. The decision to open fire in a neighborhood bar robbed families of their loved ones and devastated so many others. You don't realize how one bullet affects hundreds of people. One little tiny bullet affects so many people. Survivors want those who lost the most to know they are not alone. We pray for the families. Family members are now forced to plan funerals for the four victims. Both suspects are charged with four counts of murder in the first degree. Reporting from KCK, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. Thank you, Emily.